In an effort to improve the quality of my videos, I often ask my fans for feedback. And after sorting through all of the lose weight and get good posts, thanks a lot, mom. I finally stumbled across one that I think I can do something about. I was told that the lighting in my videos was pretty harsh, and I started looking to it, and basically what I need is something to diffuse the light so that it's not so, well, direct and harsh. And after looking into what I could use, I came up with a DIY solution from the dollar store that I think is going to be easy to build and pretty cheap. In fact, less than a dollar fifty a piece. So I'm going to jump right into making them, and then I'll be able to show you the difference. Well, the first step was to take my foam board and divide it in half. I just measured to the halfway point and then cut it down the middle. From here, I needed to cut out the hole that's going to act as my window where I'm going to lay my tissue paper over. In order to make it easy, I basically just used the thickness of the square to figure out how big the frame was going to be. This isn't an exact science, you just want to make sure that you have something that's big enough to encompass your light. With the border outlined, I then used my square as a guide to cut out the hole so that I didn't accidentally cut through the edge of the styrofoam. With the hole cut out, all I had to do was lie my tissue paper over top. I lined up one corner and taped the two edges, then used my knife to trim away the excess and then tape down the remaining two edges. Then you just have to repeat this process for each light diffuser that you need. So, we can go from lighting like this, to this. As you can see, it tones down the light a little bit and, well, diffuses it. It kills some of the shadows and it just more evenly distributes the light across the scene. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, toss me a thumbs up to let me know. If you want to know more about my experiences as I've been working to refine my video creating techniques, even though I'm nowhere near an expert, let me know and I'll let you know what I've changed over time. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. And if you have anything else that you'd like me to look into in the future or suggestions on how to improve this, go ahead and toss me a comment below. Well, thanks for sticking around until the end. And until next time, stay creative.